Hello guys, this is Leltos. Today I am to show you a new type of glue. Uh, this is a glue called Hirschkleber. Hirsch means deer in German and Kleber means glue in German. Uh, this is a very interesting glue and uh, I thought it would be interesting to show you guys. Uh, I found this in Germany. I have never seen this in US market or in Asia market. Uh, not sure uh, you know where they sell in Asia or US but I think if you can Google uh, you can you can also find it somewhere in US and if you're in Europe I think it's more easier to get a uh, hold of this glue I will put the Amazon link or you know these letters in the description box okay so here's Kleber uh, here there's they shortly um, described what it is in German and now, since you guys don't really understand German, I'll just briefly ex explain you what it is. Uh, so the first line here is Kleber. Uh, this the first line says this is the popular Halle interior adhesive. So which means um, this glue is made by Halle, I think. Uh, is this the company who makes this specific glue? Uh, so this is the famous leather glue from Halle. Okay, so this is uh, famous. Glue. I think you may have seen some of the shoe making YouTube videos, and this this glue is featured in that video also. I think it's mostly used in shoe industry. I think that's why it's not you know being seen around around the leather crafters like bag makers or anything. So this glue has excellent adhesion, so it's a very strong glue and does not penetrate, which means that if you apply this on a glue. It will not penetrate all the way into the fiber, so it will just stay on on the on the leather. So this will, you know, you know, will not make any leather uh, darker or like leather gets wet. You know, I, sometimes if you use glue with a um, solvent, uh, you know, those glues can be um, solvents can be inside of this glue, and it can be kind of smelly and you know, it doesn't look good outside of the leather but it, this glue does not penetrate and it's a needle free it says uh, nada fry uh, it says needle free I think it means uh, you don't need a needle to uh, hold pieces together so I think that's trying to say that you don't need to stitch the project but always you know it's better to uh, you know, do the stitching to, to ensure the to the other pieces stick together you know it's a mechanical Gluing the leather is chemical bonding and if you stitch it, it's a, it's a mechanical bonding so I prefer both way to ensure the strong strong um, bonding. Okay, so it this is always reliable and suitable for gluing leather, felt, cardboard, paper, textile, etc. And here's, here's clever is always ready to use and you know, you can, you know, great thing about this is you can dil dilute um, Dilute, sorry, <laughs> dilute uh, this glue thinner. Uh, I'll just show you what it's like not right now. So, oops. You know, it's it's like paste. It's like some 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 sort of cream. It looks like cream, but you know, if you don't like the um, viscosity of this glue, you can dilute it with the with the water. So use hot water in that case, and you can dilute it dilute this and it will be thinner glue. Uh, I'll just show you later. And um, this is very durable. It, it says it doesn't smell but actually it does smell very slightly. Uh, if you are sensitive you, you know what I mean. It's not a bad smell it's just a dis distinct smell from this glue. I've uh, never smelled anything like this before. It's not a bad smell. It's a uh, it smells like some sort of starch I, I heard that this is starch face glue so that's that could be why it smells like um, some sort of flower or grass but it's not bad and it's not good either it just smells very very slightly okay it does smell quite a, it's very small okay and uh, it doesn't but the good thing is that it doesn't ferment or it doesn't spoil so this glue will not go bad over the times and over the times if this glue gets like hard inside the jar you can always make it fresh with adding water or add water and heat it up but don't heat it up inside this container you have to take it out from the container and put it in a, some kind of grass glass bowl or stainless bowl something like that and heat it up with the water and it will melt again it will be fresh as new so it's you can use this for a long time it's a quite a big amount it's a 600 gram and I I paid about 
around 10 euro, 12 euro, something like that. So it's quite an amount of glue inside and uh, it's not ex so expensive also. And uh, it's, you know, because of these advantages, this glue is very popular. And if you want to try, you will miss it again. And please close the read, lid after, after each time. So do not leave it open like all, always okay so close the lid after after each use uh, they they want to put this on a on the warning okay that's that's what it says basically and if you understand german you know you might just want to check it out for yourself you can you can read it here okay okay so let's show you what it's like uh i use I ground the bone folder to to like special shape, you know, so so that I can use as a glue spatula. Yeah, so it's you know if you know what good thing about this glue is that after the glue is heated up, I mean use it up here. You know, left uh, glue left here. You can just run it in a hot water, and it will just dissolve very quickly. So clean up, cleaning up is very nice. Okay, so I will just put any paper under and show you the consistency. So it's like this. You know, it's kind of cream, but it's not so soft cream it has a quite of um how should i say quite a stickiness into it it's not so thin okay and this is fresh uh so this will what you experience if you receive the glue but as the time goes it will get thicker and thicker okay unless you add water or to something to it okay so this is what it's like okay do you feel this stickiness okay so, I just apply this glue onto leather pieces. You know, it's very interesting glue. Uh, usually the glues that I've used was quite runny. Uh, the, you know, the, what was that, the intercom glue and the konishi glue, those types of glues quite runny, you know, so if you do something, um, what should I say, it runs away, so if you hold it like this, the glue just strips out from the red pieces, but this glue is, I should say, paste glue, unofficially it's a paste glue, so it does not, you know, go around, it doesn't go messy as other glues, uh, so I like that a lot. And the interesting thing is, you know, I think I showed you guys that I glue both leather together. I glue, if I want to glue this with this piece, of, I, I, want, I glue this side also. But this glue is interesting. Interestingly, if you put glue here also, it doesn't stick well. So leave this clean and glue only to one side. Okay. Oh, here, we missed some. Yeah, and then they dry pretty fast. So don't wait until um, the glue is completely dry. Then it will lose its power. Uh, just wait a few seconds, and then glue. Okay. That's it. Okay. I've seen this glue used to glue the upper sole of the shoes, handmade shoes. And I've se I've also seen the the artisans glue uh, use this glue with the fingers, so it's there's no harsh chemical inside. I think we, some preservative preserv preservatives for sure because you know they want to keep this not spoil or ferment. But you know they use their fingers and apply this with the, their finger like like they apply cream. So quite interesting. So and you can wash your hands and it doesn't leave any smell or it doesn't leave any stickiness it just dissolves like just like sugar sugar okay so 
pretty nice. Okay. Okay. So if you glue it like this, they glue. You know, you know, you can use hammer also. You know, hammering it helps it quite a bit. And I use here. I use just bone folder to make it stick. Yeah. You know, just stick now. Okay. It's glued. Has a quite a flexibility inside also, so it doesn't. What should I say? It doesn't glue hard. Some some of the glues, if you glue them, if you bend it, there's a cracks in the glue. So which means that it will the glue will uh, bond hard, and if you bend it, it will crack. So leather also it, it stiffens up quite a bit, but this glue is quite flexible. So it's flexible glue. So it's very interesting. Okay. So good thing about this glue uh, to summarize has a paste consistency so you know easier to control I guess and you can dilute so you can um, you know actually they they recommend it to dilute to whatever consistency consistency you want so you can dilute the uh, glue and if you dilute this of course the amount of glue will increase okay so if you dilute this as a half I mean if you dilute if you add more more, more water and if you want to like thin it down more it will be double so the price gets cheaper I guess you know things like that so it's very interesting glue so I think I might just try to keep using this as a for my project and uh, it's interesting if I did, uh, discover something not you know very good about this glue I will make an update video but uh, I've tried this glue for a month and I, I see no problem yeah so, so here's clever. So, you know, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up helps me a lot to you know doing this channel. Uh, you know, and I always read your comments. And uh, you know, <laughs> last videos there's some comments that uh, focusing of the camera is not good. I hate it. So, I I change the uh, um, settings uh, after reading the comments, and it helped a lot. Uh, I think that's why it was so you know th there was a problem with the focusing I hope you really like this video and if you haven't subscribed my channel please do uh, I have more videos coming and you know if you haven't watched my other videos I've done quite a big I mean quite a lot of videos in the past also so if you are just waiting for my videos you know you can just click on my late videos other videos and uh, they'll be interesting to watch Alright, so thanks for watching as always, and I hope you spend a good day as always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.